Here is the storage solution that I have for my students uh, for the Kindle Fires. I have 11 of them, so I have kind of six of these stacked on top of each other. Using a binder clip over here, I taped a piece of paper with a number on the end of each. You could use a label as well. But that also is used to kind of hold this cord in place where it's easy to, uh, to plug it into the port here. Kids know to return the device with uh, the the ports out or with the buttons facing out which makes it really easy to plug in and so it kind of works its way uh, down to the bottom here and then along the side I'm kind of using these little holes there to um, keep the cords in line it's not maybe the most professional looking thing but it works alright and I already had it in my possession so it was free um, let's look at the back side of this real quick the back side of this I have two of these um, power strips plugged in and um, I have them kind of zip tied to the back here and then you can see I've got them all plugged in here same thing on the other side um, this little basket right here I actually put back there so that when I um, plug this in or when I push it against the wall I don't accidentally push these in such a way that I would bump into them or hurt the cord or somehow unplug them so it just is a little bit of a buffer and it holds on to some of the junk that I have little headphones and things like that as well I ran out of places uh, to plug in on the power strips over here, uh, and so what I ended up doing was going to the dollar store and getting a, um, a, a dollar extension cord, and that basically made it so that I could have three, three of them into one. I looked into how much energy they take and how much I'm requiring of this one outlet, and it's still well within reason. I'm not breaking any codes or anything like that. And so this is the whole solution that I have here. It's worked pretty well. I'd love your ideas. Feel free to share some of them um, down below.